your brand globally. Make your venture a success. Unique Times. Premium Business Lifestyle Magazine. Drug addiction, as all of you know, is spreading like wildfire amongst the youngsters. We at Regional Sports Centre, Cochin, believe that sports is the best option to divert the attention of the youngsters, to distract them from getting addicted to drugs. That is the main reason why Regional Sports Centre, Cochin, in association with Better Cochin Response Group, and A.V. Kochi have taken this initiative to organize this, not only this conclave, this conclave is mainly to, is an awareness program. If you tell your child that if you take drugs, you will feel good for the first few days or first few weeks, and then it will be thrown away. It sends a wrong message. I know that. Drugs don't give you pleasure. Drugs don't give you entertainment. And drugs definitely does not give you health. We shatter this myth today. And if you are able to do that, then this pros, this mission that we are on will be on track. So when you tell a child that a drug can give you energy, this is the biggest myth that we have to shatter. Please understand, when you take a drug, when you are in a party and you are dancing, you are no longer enjoying that dance. You are numbing your brain to believe that your body is allowing you to do what you do mechanically. Sports, as the earlier speakers have said, is very important. We have done few things in sports. We have built seven open paths in Delhi. In the most important places in the public parks, we have built seven open gyms where you can see the people queuing in the morning in all the seven parks in Delhi and we have put a message also there against the drug abuse and against this drug abuse and promoting sports we should definitely or should be encouraged uh, we had a conclave earlier about CSR conclave we should also have a conclave where the CSR can promote sports for using CSR funds. That would be a good idea. So this is a good beginning. Unique Times and others, the Sports Council here, should take the lead in promoting sports against drug abuse. Thank you. There might be a generation gap, but so what? It's our children. It's the next generation. You have to tell them. They might hate you initially, but they love you 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Some of our parents are scared to tell our children what is right and what is wrong. They're scared to tell, son, this is wrong, don't do that, do this. I think it's very important that you tell them what is right, what is wrong. To tell them that this is what is moral, that is immoral. This is what is ethical, that's unethical. And I suppose that is where the role of sports come in. Because sports, as Justice said so eloquently, can change the child's thinking. It's the addiction to sports that will kill the addiction to drugs. Most schools now don't even call it extracurricular activities. I am happy to report that many of our schools have a wise principle course scholastics, which shows that sports and cultural activities are as important as academic activities. Half a day is devoted certainly to all these activities where every child can participate and no child is left behind. Children have to be inculcated into this because uh, you won't believe it. Can you just guess the age of a child who came to me for de-addiction, the youngest age? 
it was seven years second standard okay so uh, it's shocking but it, the tentacles have gone soul so catch them young the most difficult part for us is to prevent the spread of drugs among kids so what is happening nowadays in Cochin City is like what server is saying or many uh, learned dictators are saying like cases have come up before all the agencies their kids have been into peddling or they are into drugs <laughs>